Hello everyone, let's look at this problem here. We have this rational function x to the fourth minus one all over x plus one. And for this function, we are trying to find its limit as x is approaching negative one. For this kind of problem, we usually try to use the direct substitution and see if we can get an answer. If we don't, in that case, we're getting an indeterminate form, then we gotta use some technique to solve this problem. Okay, so let's try the direct substitution and see what's going on. Okay, so we look at the numerator first. The numerator has the form, right? So we have the form of something raised to the fourth power and then minus one. And then the denominator has the form of uh, something plus one, right? And then what we need to do is to plug in the negative one into the x's. And so you just substitute, fill in the blanks using the negative one. And then what do we do right now? We are going to we are going to do the calculation and check. And as you can see from the denominator, you are going to get zero, right? So you're going to get zero. So that can be a sign of problems. And if you look at the top, the top tells you what? The top tells you that this is negative one to the fourth power. And since that's an even power, then negative one raised to an even power will give you a positive one and positive one minus one will actually just give you a zero. So this is an indeterminate form of zero over zero. And so we actually have no idea what this limit is equal to at this point. And so we cannot join a conclusion. Okay, so now how do we deal with this problem? Um, the way that we deal with this is that we will try to factor. And as you can see here, this, this is a binomial and it's actually the difference of two squares. So we, we should be able to factor this one. and Let's just, just recall what that is. Okay, so let's recall. So if you have a difference of two squares, that's A quantity square minus B quantity square. Okay, so what is that equal to? If you factor that, then you are going to get A plus B, and then you are going to get A minus B. So A plus B times A minus B. Okay, so all we need to do is to just write the x to the fourth as something raised to the second power, and then we do have the minus sign, and then we also write one as something raised to the second power. And then we just need to figure out the a and the b. And in this case, what, what we can do is that we can actually write the x to the fourth as something square and then minus something square and that x to the fourth would actually be what? What square will give you x to the fourth? That must be x squared. So let's put that in there. So we get x squared. That's, so as you can see here, x squared squared, that will give you x to the fourth. Uh, what about here? This one is actually easy. Something squared will give you the one. So we can just pick that as positive one, right? So we can pick that as positive one. We get the one here. Okay, so now what about the bottom? The bottom is just x plus one. We don't have to do anything here. So we just leave it for now. And then now we can factor the numerator and see what happens. So let's do that. So if we factor the numerator, then you are going to get what? You are going to get something plus something and then something minus something. And then we actually need to fill in that those blanks with the something and something. Okay, so that's plus, that's minus. And then now how do we fill them in? Uh, we actually have the x square here. That's our a, right? So as you can see here, that's x square. And then we have this a right here. And then, so there is a B, and then B is actually just the one. So we'll put the one right here. So you the one right here. And then what about the A again, the A again? So we get X square and then B, the B is actually, again, it's one. And then now we still don't do anything to the bottom. Okay, so at this point, this is actually equivalent to the x to the fourth minus one. And so if you plug in the negative one in there, you are still going to get zero over zero because we haven't canceled the factor that's causing the uh, the indeterminate form. So we cannot really just, just do the direct substitution at this point. And then actually, if you look at this second factor right here, you should realize that that's also the difference of two squares. So we can factor it even further. We can factor it one more time. 
And in this case, we actually can figure out our A is just the X, and then our B is actually the one, and then we factor this one more time, right? repeating the process as we had before. So if you factor that one more time, we are going to get this. We're going to get the X squared plus one, and then, so now this X squared minus one will become x plus 1, then x minus 1, and then all over the x plus 1, which is our original denominator that we haven't touched. And so now we do see a factor that's causing the indeterminate form is x plus 1 and then x plus 1, because when you're plugging the negative 1 in there, you are going to get 0 and the 0. So now we can cancel them. Okay, so let's cancel them here. Okay, so we cancel them, then then now we are going to get a form. That form looks like what? X squared plus one, and then the other, the stuff that's left is X minus one. Do we have a denominator? Now the denominator actually just becomes one, right? So you just have the one at the bottom. So what happened is that because the factor that's causing the zero over zero, it's gone from the bottom and actually it's also gone from the top. So now we can plug in the negative one in there and then figure out the answer. So if we do that, then you are going to get what? Something square. Okay, so just put it as a blank and then plus one. And then also something minus one, right? So now we can plug in that negative one in there. So let's do that. Let's just plug in that negative one in there. And then if we do that, then what happens? You have the negative one square, which is positive one. One plus one is two. And, and so we are going to get this as two. And what about this number? This is negative two. So what is the final answer? The final answer would just be negative four when you multiply those two numbers together. So that's our final answer. And actually, this is, this is again, this is really just scratch work. So let me just change this color on this side. Okay, so this is the formal work right here, but then the, there are some scratch work that we need to put on the side just to help us figure out the problem. Okay, so that's all for this problem. We'll do more problems next time. Thank you for watching.